Hello, in this video I want to show you how to download and install the program R. I Google for the letter R and I download it here. Download packages. Um, I choose a location next to me which is um, and I am using Windows. I want to download the base distribution and I click here download save and I save it on the desktop this takes a while I can cut this out later but I won't do it <laughs> I have time We can take a look at the home page. The home page is very simple. Here's the documentation manuals. This is interesting. Here's an introduction to R. You can get this as HTML or PDF. This is very uh, this is uh, very recommended to read. It's uh, very, very good. So the download is finished. And this is a file we just downloaded. It's um, 40 megabytes. Okay, I double click on it. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 And here you choose your operating system if it's using 32 bit or 64. I'm using uh, 64 bit. Mm, oh, don't need the manuals, don't need that. Next. 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 Okay, finish. Then you have that icon and this is what it looks like after you start it. Now uh, I close it and uh, it um, creates a work working di uh, directory when you s when you use it later. So here's just an, a tip for you. Under Windows, it will create it just here. It will the files will be just here. So I create a directory R. Then I click on the icon with with um, right click properties, and this is um, where it is executed in. This this uh, means executed in, and here's the path. And uh, I want uh, it to be executed not not here. And the files should not be here. They should be in the folder R. It's not necessary to do that, but it's uh, it it looks much better here. Okay, you don't need to do that, but it's it's better. Okay, then you have it, and I will just show you one thing. This is a, v a variable, and I fill it with with a vector that consists of the integers 1, 3 and 7 
and I want to see it and it contains the integers 1, 3 and 7. I will explain it in the next video but just to show you when I uh, close it this is a workspace, yeah I want to save that and to show you where my workspace it is um, it's uh, when a computer see user I'm user admin on this account um, you own documents and this is uh, where I created it, the folder R and here is its uh, history and this is the working workspace and it's uh, again when I click on the icon properties execute it in and this is a path where it is so you can change it however you you want it oh and uh, just one more thing I want to mention you can change the language of the program you right click on the start icon properties and here you add language EN then the menu and the program is in English <laughs>